Hey, welcome back in... What a delightful thing to say. Hey, welcome back to What Jack Has Made. And in this video, we're going to be covering the GraphQL plugin. Um, so in a previous video, I covered what plugins we're going to be using. And if you watched the bonus video, I covered how to manage these with Composer. And as you can see in our plugins um, dashboard area, we have a ton of WP GraphQL plugins, and the most important is WP GraphQL. So now if we go to our environment and we go to forward slash GraphQL, we will have an endpoint which should have worked. Okay, cool. Um, just a quick update. When you have the GraphQL Gutenberg plugin installed, you'll need to sometimes run update all posts which support editor. Um, this is usually only when you first install a plugin. So I went ahead and clicked update and now the GraphQL endpoint works. So when you access this in your browser, you'll get an error saying that you must use a query or query ID in your request. Um, and this can be quite confusing to anyone who's not familiar with GraphQL. Um, essentially what it's saying is it can't return any information because you haven't implicitly specified or requested any information from the endpoint. There's no information just waiting. You have to be very specific in GraphQL. Um, and a great way to explore the schema that the endpoint is providing us is to either use your own tool such as GraphQL Playground or the graph, graphical, <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to pronounce sometimes, um, uh, plugin, which allows us to explore the schema within our WordPress uh, dashboard. So at first you're welcomed to the plugin, you can remove this. And we have a ton of uh, explorer query builder fields. Um, it can be quite overwhelming at first, but this is all the information available to you in your WordPress installation. Um, it, by default, when you install WordPress, you have a hello world post. So we'll go and see if we can query this. Um, we don't want to query a specific post. We want to get all of the posts. We want to look at each individual post. And then from within each individual post, we want the title. Um, we'll also want the slug format, we'll just do rendered. Um, what else can we get? We'll get the ID and the date. So if we now click the play button, we get back a payload and the payload has all of the nodes, which is all of the posts in a JSON array. And this array has an object for each post with the title, the slug, the ID of the post and the date it was made. If we go ahead and create a new post and we say uh, GraphQL is the best and we go ahead and publish this. When we go back into our schema, we can click play and we have GraphQL is the best, the slug and when it was posted, which was a couple of seconds ago. Um, so essentially what we can do is we can create these sort of queries within any GraphQL environment, um, which has access to our GraphQL endpoint. So you could do this in Apollo, in Gatsby. Um, you can even query it using a fetch request. I've seen some people do that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, and then you get back this JSON payload. And then based on the information you get back, you can generate pages, um, generate, you know, components using the data, um, all kinds of things, which is essentially the whole um, foundation for the course. We're going to be using this GraphQL schema and endpoint um, directly with Gatsby to generate our pages. And we're going to be doing this using components, which allows us to create fluid dynamic layouts using the Gutenberg uh, editor, but 
we'll be getting into all of that. For now, just so you're aware, we have access to um, all of the information our WordPress installation has using this GraphQL endpoint, and we can explore it using this plugin, Graphical, and we can have a look at categories. We can have a look at um, Gutenberg blocks. We can look at media items, posts, pages, plugs, what themes you're using, what users are on the site, uh, just about anything. Um, and the WP GraphQL documentation is quite good too. So if you ever want to extend uh, what the schema covers to include uh, custom post types, advanced custom fields, you can do so. But we'll be getting into all of that in the next few videos.